contribution to science and technology. Yes, we have also contributed to science and technology. So let's learn. First of all, we have to divide the Indian history into two parts. Pre-independence and post-independence. Pre-independence means before independence and post-independence means after independence. So today we are going to talk about pre-independence. The advancement in science and technology, the traditional culture that we see as under Vishwas is actually based on scientific reasoning. See, India is a major hub of ideas. We are able to express powers of 10th and 12th powers in 3000 years ago. We are able to describe algebraic formulae 4000 3000 years ago. We are able to do water management 5000 4000 years ago. It's incredible amount of knowledge and ideas that are needed to do these improvements. See, every contribution of science has been done by India in some way or another. The starting of science is also the starting of golden age of India. Major things and ideas came from India only. In Vedic literature and Purans, we are described the astronomical, the society, the mathematics of ancient India easily. Formula like Pythagoras has actually taken from the Vedic Purans, literature, Vedas and converted them into his own. And actually he did what now? He just popularized the formulas. He did not invented them. He popularized the formulas. Every mathematical basic idea of so mathematics are originating from India. We are able to express from 10th power to 12th power. We are going able to express algebraic formulae. We are able to express ideas like square, rectangle, triangle, fraction and many more. So understand what our capabilities are. In addition to this, the earliest civilization of India, the Harappan civilization was also very, very advanced. It was able to use decimals. It had specific symbols for specific weights like we have kilogram, gram. They also have the symbols. So that shows us the amount of knowledge that we have. We were the science hub at the time. We had excellent town planning, excellent construction and air cooling systems in 4000 years ago. Imagine when we are not able to know what compasses we are making, building, constructing huge towns. The Harappan civilization was the half size of Europe that was ruled for thousands of years from 3000 BC to 1500 BC. As our blood is our lifeline, same, the rivers, water sources are the lifeline of a civilization. This is a rule and India is no exception for this. Many civilizations developed on rivers, the rivers at the banks of rivers, as Harappa did also. It grow on the bank of river Indus. So it was familiar with water. So it used the Indus river as its water source. It built ponds, artificial lakes, ponds and channels to do trade. Yes, we have trade during those times. We are able to build ships at during those times. That are capabilities. The Harappan civilization was very well planned. It has two story buildings 4000 years ago two story buildings, one level, second level, imagine it. It also had excellent town planning, water management systems and also underground drainage system. It also gives importance to civil hygiene. It has natural air cooling system. It also had hydraulic engineering and construction engineering. So that was the history of our Indian civilization. Iron and steel. 
are the pillars of civilization. They are the main source of construction for civilization, and we were the pioneers of developing of them. We made the rust-free irons, and a shocking truth I want to tell you that Europeans exported imported iron from India. They made swords out of Indian iron and steel. That is how good was our iron. If you want the evidence of rust-free iron, go to Delhi. You will see the great Delhi pillars of iron. They are also today rust-free. Imagine how long were they were built, and even today they are rust-free. Their capabilities, and as we construct, we also make food for farming. We were also excellent farmers. We have several methods of making and doing farming. We have we have a method of testing soils. We did crop rotation. We did water harvesting and other etc. for farming. We use natural fertilizer. We make natural fertilizers out of cow dung. That is our capability. We are not only workers, but we are also idea makers. We first described the idea of an atom, Parmanu, the beyond atoms, the smallest particle in the entire universe that cannot be further divided. And you want to guess something? The nuclear technology that is used today to make energy is based on this concept by splitting those atoms, by splitting Parmanu. So now. We also do physics, and we also do life. We also do regular, ordinary life, as in Ayurved. Yes, Ayur means life, and Ved means knowledge. The knowledge of life is called Ayurved. In which we dealt about diagnosing people with different diseases. We also do surgical operations, and we also get medicine from natural plants. So we made a medicine. We did surgical operation and we also diagnosed it with diseases. We were really advanced at the time. All this knowledge you can find in Vedas, Purans, and literature of India is really important. We also did trade with ship and ship building. Yes, we built ships. A major fact. Don't to tell you that Portuguese buys ship from India, not from Europe. Yes, Portuguese buys from ship from EU, India, not from Europe. And Arab also bought. The ships from India. So imagine what the quality of Indian ships. We were a pioneer in fishing. Yes, we know the how to use a compass way before Europe even know what is a compass. That is our capabilities. We are the science hub for the time of the years and years ago. So that were our capabilities. And person like Sushita Charaka. There are many more operations on our way. They improved the knowledge of Indian society and the Indian culture, and they taught us what is India. That is for today. Thank you, Tata. Bye.